Hi, Lake Point Church. This is Pastor Jesse bringing you your daily connect point. Just want to give you some updates of things that are going on in the community and some things that we are doing as a church. The first one is uh, some of the churches locally aren't able to get out there to their congregations online. They don't have the technological abilities that we might have. So we are actually reaching out and helping other churches to get in contact with their congregations. I know as a pastor, I need to be connecting with you, and there are other pastors that aren't able to do that right now because of the inability to do that. So one of the things that we want to do as a church is help other churches to do that. So right now, that's something that we're able to do. Also, just to remind you, to a lot of our uh, uh, adopted ministries, uh, ministries like Micah 6 or Love for a Child, other ministries in the area that are equally suffering financially because the churches are closed. And this is what they do. They go out and speak to other churches and receive love offerings. But right now those aren't happening at other places because we're all closed up. So don't forget them. Go ahead and support them as well uh, and give financially to them and help them so they can stay open. Today's devotion I'm looking at uh, in the book of Psalms. Uh, there are two, two Psalms that I'm looking at today. The first one is Psalm 1-2, and it says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. One thing that I uh, draw from this uh, uh, passage, this verse, really is a schedule. If you look at it, the psalmist is saying he meditates on the things of the Lord both day and night. He's giving uh, his schedule. And I know during this time, practically speaking, not just spiritually, but practically speaking, all of us are pretty much off of schedule. We're off of routine. If you have children, this is very true. Your children are home right now. They're not in school. Uh, maybe you're not even in work or you're working from home. You know that you are off routine. And one of the first things to go when we're off routine, I don't know why, I think it's just human nature, can be prayer. So we need to be diligent in what we're doing to stay on some sort of routine, some daily routine. I would suggest sitting down and writing it, writing down your routine, something that you need to do on a regular basis and having that. I know it's a practical thing, maybe not a spiritual sounding thing, but we need to deal with the practicality as much as we need to do with the spiritual in our lives. So I would strongly suggest that you sit down, write out a daily routine, block out your time, especially for times of prayer. David, the psalmist, wrote this, and I think this will help us. It's Psalm 63. He says, O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you, joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. What's important, are, I think, are a couple things that are going on here with uh, King David. He's writing this psalm. Primarily, he's in the wilderness of Judah. He's actually not in his kingdom. Uh, he's in the wilderness on his own. He's isolated. And he's writing this. And what he's saying is, in the early morning will I seek you, and I will meditate on you in the night watches. 
What David is doing is a very practical thing that I think that we need to also do, and that is create a routine during this time, something that is steady, something that we know that we can do. I would encourage that to be prayer, but it also needs to be getting the kids to bed on time. It also needs to be eating on a regular basis and at certain times, trying to keep as much of a routine as we can. Because what I have found, and maybe you see this too, when you go off routine, things begin to happen and you begin to lose purpose. We start to watch TV a little bit more. Uh, we start to get on our phones more, searching the internet, doing things that are not normal to our lifestyle. And what begins to happen, you will find, is that you will start to lose your purpose in what you know you are supposed to do and who you are. Especially if you've lost your job, maybe you've been laid off and now you're home. It's so much easier to just lay on the couch and do nothing or do something that doesn't have the same payoff because you are out of routine. So let me encourage each one of my Lake Point uh, members and attenders and all those that, are, that come to church, let me just encourage you to sit down and write out something practically that you'll be able to put prayer in there and get to bed on time and so that you do not lose the feeling of usefulness and the purpose that you have in your life. Let me go ahead and pray with you this evening before we close this up. Lord, I just pray right now that you would be with each and every one of us, Lord, as we are literally off our routine, off our daily practices. Help us to block out time, to have certain moments that we not only pray, but that we rest and that we read and that we look through scripture, Lord God, that there will be times that we block out to focus on you first and foremost but also on the purpose that you have given us, that we are useful, that we do have purpose. Even during this time when we feel so much unrest, help us to see the purpose ultimately is to trust in you, to worship you, and to look wholly on you. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you've enjoyed these. I've enjoyed these as well. Look, stand by. We'll have one again tomorrow. Uh, you can find these, of course, on our website and also on Facebook later on if you're looking for the ones. Uh, this is our third one. So if you're looking for the past ones, they are in there. God bless. Be blessed. And I will talk to you soon.